Hello everyone, hope you are doing great. In order to do what the video says, first you will need to download, if you are on Windows, you can download this program, Loop MIDI, to create a MIDI port to serve as a bridge to communicate WISE and uh, Pure Data or Max. Uh, I don't know the alternatives in Max or Linux, but there are. Uh, search it and you will find it. And well, let's I've, here I've created a port called loop MIDI port 1 and I've assigned it into max MSP here and in pure data what you'll need to do is go into media MIDI configuration and set it here this is from pure data max and in wise you will need to go into project control surfaces let's add a PD max and you will set receive from a uh, loop MIDI port one. We don't want to send from WISE to Pure Data or Max. Maybe you do. Let's change it. Uh, in this example, no. So we'll leave it here. And we'll need to create a session. Uh, create the session uh, PD Max again. And uh, let's set the example of uh, playing a sound when it receives a note. In that case, I will change this because I don't want to pass a MIDI note. I want to play or stop a sound. And I'm going on, I'm going to click learn. So here it's learning and I will click here. In this example, Pure Data, what it's doing is sending a metro every 1000 milliseconds or every one second and it's sending a value of 127 into the channel 1 and control change 1. So if I'm if I click the metro here wise recognized that every time it receives a value from the channel 1 on the control change 1 it will play or stop a sound. What sound? The current selection. So, if we select any of these sounds, it will play the current selection. What happens if we want to play only one sound, the one and only? Well, let's go into the sessions and is, instead of um, setting this binding into the current selection, we drag and drop into the global selection and we assign the sound. Here I set beep, so it will only play or stop the beep 3 in the channel 1, control change, two. no, channel 1, control change 1. Um, let's see it, for example, beep 3, and it will play beep 3 even though I select another sound. Uh, let's stop here. Um, what happens if we want to control an RTPC? Well, in that case, let's select and let's add a new binding, rename it as uh, RTPC, and I will send a value into the control change one and channel two. You can see it's here in WISE. And here it won't show the, par the RTPC. So we have to find it into the object properties, into game syncs, game parameter, simulation value. <laughs> Let's put that. And if we go into the parameter, here I have two parameters, 
from 0 to 1, both of them. If I change this value, it will change the enemy life here. And if I click the player life, it will change the player life. It's important to know that the range of the slider has to be from 0 to 127. And Wise will automatically scale, scale it into the uh, range from minus to maximus. Uh, for example, if I change the value of uh, the player life to um, this value, yeah, it will automatically scale that. And here the enemy life is from 0 to 1. Again, it will scale it. So that's important to know. Um, and what happens with max? Well, with max is the same because max is sending the value 127 into the channel 1 and control change 1 that was uh, selected into the sessions it will automatically uh, send or act play or stop this event and the same goes for the rtpc um i have to let's go here and select and um, play your life. And now if I move, it will change the player life. What is this useful for? Well, um, let's say you are doing a soundcaster with and you're testing the footsteps. And instead of putting the event and doing clicky 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 on every footsteps or putting um, assigning the, the the event into a, a pad, you can directly uh, assign it into max or pure data, and you can control the uh, rate that is sending the um, message. So, for example. Here, suppose that I have uh, a footsteps or this this sound, this beep, and we say, okay, but maybe we we'll play faster, or maybe slower, and we can change it through here, uh, and I think that's pretty neat, uh, and you can also create. Um, various messages that go from channel to 1 to 16 and the same for the control change. So you have a lot of values uh, and parameters to assign and you can control, you can assign those values into all these properties. All of this. So you have all of these properties to assign a MIDI note uh, to change in real time with max and pure data doing only a click uh, and I think that's a lot uh, so the sky is the limit um, for this kind of things it's important to have uh, good ideas so that's it if you like hit the subscribe button uh, subscribe if you find this information useful and uh, stay tuned for another video bye bye